The Spring Creek Fire to our south officially becomes the third largest in state history. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. First, one of four people struck by lightning over the weekend survived when his girlfriend gave emergency CPR. The Associated Press reports the couple was camping west of Boulder when the man was struck. The woman performed chest compressions and the man regained consciousness before EMS arrived. With more lightning in the forecast for this week and next, remember to watch the skies and take cover immediately in the event of a lightning storm. Plan any summit hikes for early in the morning to avoid early and late afternoon lightning. More ecological damage from the massive Gold King mine this week when a tanker transporting sludge from the EPA Superfund site crashed, spilling about 1,800 gallons into Cement Creek. That's a small tributary east of Crested Butte. The original Gold King mine incident leached 3 million gallons of contaminated waste, reaching rivers in three neighboring states. The Buffalo Fire on June 12 and 13 cost about $1 million per day for personnel on the ground and in the air, but officials estimate it saved nearly $1 billion in property at Wilderness and Mesa Cortina. Fourteen wildfires continue to rage across the state today, with 3,700 personnel split between the 12 largest. Four are burning within two hours of Summit County, including the Lake Christine fire outside of Basalt, now burning 6,200 acres and 39% contained. Roughly 400 residents are still under mandatory evacuation. The Spring Creek Fire on the New Mexico state line is officially the third largest in Colorado history, burning 108,000 acres behind a collection of three fires in 2013 and the massive Hayman Fire in 2002. That blaze killed five. So far, no one has been killed by Colorado wildfires this year. The Hayman and Spring Creek fires were both started by people. So was the Lake Christine Fire. Authorities have charged all suspects this year with felony arson. If you're on the river today, flows are 459 CFS on the Arkansas River at Granite and 1,390 on the Colorado River near Dotsero, up a little from yesterday. The upper Colorado near Kremlin is at 845 CFS, down about 600 points from yesterday. The Blue River below Dillon Dam is holding steady at 273 CFS. Today in roadwork news, CDOT crews are back after the holiday break and repaving work continues this week on Summit Boulevard, Highway 9 and Interstate 70 between Officers Gulch and Vail Pass. Expect possibly one lane eastbound and westbound closed on Interstate 70 today and delays of 10 to 15 minutes. In sports, the Rockies open a series with the Diamondbacks tonight. First pitch is 640. And in local sports, brought to you by Wilderness Sports, the next race in the Summit Trail Running Series is tomorrow, Wednesday, at Baker's Tank on Boreas Pass. Register online for $27 and see course maps at BreckenridgeRecreation.com. The next race in the Vail Rec District Mountain Bike Series is also tomorrow, the Lost Lake Loop north of Vail. That race is for adults only. Register and see the course at valerec.com. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.